let's face it, steam trains are incredible looking vehicles because of everything from their incredible designs to the beautiful plumes of smoke they produce. Join me for today's video as we take a look at 15 of the most incredible looking steam trains. Number 15. PRRQ2 The PRRQ2, or to give its full name, the Pennsylvania Railroad Class Q2, was a series of 25 production steam trains that scored a record as the biggest non-articulated locomotives ever built. They were also found to be the most powerful trains to ever be put through a static test. In fact, according to the Pennsylvania Railroad static testing, they achieved as much as 7,900 horsepower, although it's been claimed that they were able to exceed 8,000 once they were unleashed on the tracks. We're talking about a hell of a lot of power here, as well as stunning design. Its manufacturers said it was almost twice as powerful as its other steam trains, and it was said it could pull over 120 freight cars at 80 kilometers per hour. Not that there were many stations even capable of catering to that many cars. Its looks and performance are even more impressive when you consider the fact that it weighed over a million pounds or over 500 tons. Unfortunately, they were phased out relatively quickly because the switch to diesel left them costing more to run and maintain than many competitors. Nowadays, none of these incredible locomotives are still intact. Number 14. Challenger Despite a name that makes this thing sound like a spaceship, the Union Pacific Challenger was a steam train model that was manufactured between 1936 and 1944. They remained in service in the Union Pacific Railway until the end of the 1950s. In contrast to the PRRQ-2, where only a couple of dozen production models were ever created, there were over a hundred Challengers that were separated into five different classes. They were a little lighter than the PRRQ-2 at about 487 tons, and they stretched out to around 37 meters. Most of the Challengers were used to haul freight, although a few of them were used to carry passengers. These are real big boys, which is why the initial Challenger inspired the design of the later steam locomotive called Big Boy, and why Big Boy then influenced the design of the final Challengers. The good news for those of us who love to look at stunning steam locomotives is that there are still two Challengers in existence. In fact, a Challenger called the Union Pacific No. 3985 was fully restored and even operated tourist trips, although it was retired in 2020. There's also a Challenger on display in Nebraska. Number 13. PRRS-1 the PRRS-1 is arguably the most experimental steam train on our list, in part because there was only ever one of them. It was built like no other engine had ever been before, including with an Art Deco design that was created by Raymond Louis, a French-American. Nicknamed the Big Engine, the full name of this bad boy is the Pennsylvania Railroad Class S1. Big by name and big by nature, this absolute beast of a steam train was 140 feet long, which is why it was able to set a record for being the biggest passenger train ever made. Designed to demonstrate the possibilities of duplex drives, the PRRS1 was the only duplex train ever to be built with a 6446 wheel arrangement. It was also the heaviest rigid frame steam locomotive and was designed to stay stable at even high speeds of more than 100 miles per hour. Unfortunately, as only one of these were ever made, you're not going to get a chance to see it up close and personal or to take a ride on it. If you ask me, this already stunning design is made even more special thanks to its rarity. Number 12. XA Triplex the trains that we've looked at so far have all been duplex trains, which means that they have two sets of drivers on the inside. The XA Triplex has three sets of drivers, hence the name. This also means that it has an entirely different mechanical design. What's interesting about this beast is that it's the only triplex steam locomotive ever made, with the X in its name standing for experimental. It was built for the Virginian Railway, but its ambitious design left it with so many mistakes that it was unfeasible to continue manufacturing it. To make matters worse for the XA Triplex, it had a maximum speed of just 10 miles per hour, and it often struggled to achieve that unless it was being operated in optimum conditions. But I'm not here to judge of how good a job its manufacturers Baldwin Locomotive Works did beneath the hood. And it only really takes a quick look at this incredible machine to see why steam train lovers are so enamored with it. It's an incredible vehicle with stunning aesthetics, and it's just a shame that they were never able to improve its performance or put it into mainstream production. Number 11. Allegheny This stunning steam train is an articulated locomotive and one of only two ever made that follow the 2666 design. 
It is said to be one of the most powerful steam locomotives to have ever been built, although it's up against some stiff competition thanks to some other trains on this list. It gets its name from the Allegheny Mountains, which was where the locomotive was destined to be deployed. That's also why its huge amount of power was needed, because the mountains were steep and nothing like the extensive flats that most other trains were being designed for. To make things even more difficult for the Allegheny, it was also required to transport coal. They had about 7,500 horsepower from the engine, and it weighed in at 386 tons, reaching as much as 600 tons once they were fully loaded with coal. The good news for us, though, is that multiple builds of this train were created, with most of them being used by Chesapeake and Ohio Railway, though the Virginian Railway bought a couple of them too. Better still, there are still two of these trains on display, including at the Henry Ford Museum in Michigan. Number 10. Yellowstone This is yet another contender for the world's largest ever steam train, especially when it comes to its overall weight. It got its name because the first owners were the Northern Pacific Railway, who had lines running past the iconic Yellowstone National Park. It's believed that 72 of these trains were produced, with them being classified into five different classes. Unfortunately, it was only on the rails for 10 years before being retired, running across four different railroads in the United States. The first of the Yellowstones was built in 1928 by the American Locomotive Company, and it quickly became the world's biggest locomotive. It also had the biggest ever firebox at almost 17 square meters, allowing it to burn low-quality coal. The Yellowstones were used for a variety of different purposes, including hauling iron ore, which added even more weight to what was already a heavy train. Several of these iconic vehicles still survive, and you can go to visit them if you're in Minnesota. My favorite is number 227, which can be found at the Lake Superior Railroad Museum in Duluth. Number 9. The Norfolk and Western Y Class First manufactured in 1940 by Roanoke Shops, this stunning-looking steam train weighed in at 495 short tons and had an insane 5,600 horsepower. I'm talking about a steam train that looked fantastic and which could also match the performance of the best of them. They do say that size isn't everything, and that's certainly true with this train. It's a big old vehicle, but it's not the world's biggest by quite a long shot, though it was easily the world's most powerful when it first came into service. Unfortunately for us, Norfolk and Western Y-Class went out of service in the 1960s after diesel trains took over from steam, and there are now only one of these beautiful vehicles left. You can pay to visit if you swing by the National Museum of Transportation in St. Louis, Missouri. If you love steam trains anywhere near as much as I do, you'll find it well worth a visit. A lot of other trains on this list look incredible, but there aren't many as aesthetically beautiful as the Norfolk and Western Y-Class. I'd have it in my house if there was room for it. Number 8. Stevenson's Rocket Stevenson's Rocket is often said to be the first ever steam train, but that's not quite accurate. What's certainly true, though, is that it was a true pioneer in the field of one of the most influential vehicles of any type to ever be built. The Rocket was built in 1829 by iconic engineer Robert Stevenson, and it was the successor to the Lancashire Witch. Yeah, I know, they don't name trains like they used to, which is kind of a shame. The Rocket also won the Rainhill Trials of Liverpool and Manchester Railway, a competition which aimed to uncover the future of the railway. Stevenson's Rocket was built in Newcastle-upon-Tyne at the 4th Street Works, and apart from its important place in history, it's also notable for its stunning smokestack chimney, a design element that screams Victorian like nothing else I've ever seen on board a locomotive. But as stunning as the rocket is to look at, it's even more impressive when you consider that it was the first steam locomotive to bring together most of the innovations that we continued to see throughout the rest of the steam train's history. If someone designed a new steam train today, it would still owe a lot to Stevenson's rocket. Number 7. The Fairy Queen This stunning steam train holds an incredible record, which is that it's the oldest steam locomotive that's still in regular service. It was built not far off 200 years ago back in 1855, and it still makes the journeys in India between New Delhi and Alwar. Living up to its name, it's a steam train with a fairy tale history, being built in Leeds and then transported to Kolkata, which was then called Calcutta. Its original service only lasted for a couple of decades, but then it was retired and put on display so that people could still see it. Fast forward to the 1990s when it was returned to regular service for the first time in nearly a hundred years. At around this time, its owners carried out major restoration works to make sure that it was in tip-top condition, fixing up everything from its physical appearance to its internal components. 
One of the best things about checking out the Fairy Queen or the East Indian Railway No. 22, to give it its full name, is that you can also see another iconic vehicle called the Palace on Wheels. This is a newer tourist train which will allow you to compare the old to the new, and you can have a vacation in India while you're at it. Number 6. Big Boy I've already mentioned Big Boy, so it's perhaps no surprise that it's making an appearance on this list. One of the most notable things about this steam train is that as well as it being simply stunning, it's also insanely powerful. Even today, it's still the biggest and most powerful working steam train in the world. The Big Boy trains were specifically designed to ship heavy freight like coal across long distances in the United States, and they achieved that goal in style. Built in the United States during the 1940s, these powerhouse trains are beautiful in a way that British engineers couldn't compete with. It's an all-American kind of beauty, and it comes attached to a vehicle that proves just because something's big doesn't mean it can't also be beautiful. One of the best facts I want to share with you about the Big Boy trains is that it was originally called the Wasatch after the mountain range of the same name, and then an engineer wrote Big Boy on one of the engines using chalk while the vehicles were being constructed, and the nickname ended up sticking. Number 5. Cornish Riviera Express the Cornish Riviera Express is interesting because even though the actual steam train has been phased out to be replaced by an electric train, the route itself is still in use and it uses the same name. You can still ride the Cornish Riviera Express, it's just not quite as cool as riding a steam train. The original Cornish Riviera Express was first introduced at the start of the 20th century, and it's notable for its stunning green and black colors. They were originally sleeper services, which are long-distance trains with beds in there so that you can take an early train, arrive at the start of a working day, and get a little sleep in along the way. The Cornish Riviera Express was introduced by the Great Western Railway and has operated ever since it was first launched, except for a couple of periods during World War I and World War II. It's one of those rare vehicles that's crossed over into popular culture thanks to some huge advertising campaigns that the Great Western Railway ran before the outbreak of the Second World War. It's a stunning vehicle and something of an icon, and train fans are so obsessed with it that we even know some details about its name and its nameplate. The name came about as a cross between two winning entries to a competition to name it, and its most iconic nameplate was designed by 26-year-old Tom Stanton. I guess we're just lucky it's not called Trainee McTrainface. Number 4. The Scarborough Flyer this is another beautiful green and black steam train that's still in service, this time traveling through the Yorkshire Dales from Crewe to Scarborough. The train is stunning, and so is the view from it, making it arguably my favorite of the lot when it comes to actually taking a ride on it. The Scarborough Flyer has a unique design that makes it feel like it has a character of its own, perhaps like a character from a Thomas the Tank Engine book. The fact that it's still running is also a major factor in why I've ranked it so high on this list, although its aesthetics alone are enough to guarantee it a ranking position. It runs in a circular route that can take travelers all the way to the seaside and back again, leaving Manchester, Victoria before cutting through Sheffield towards Scarborough. The Scarborough Flyer has been restored, so it maintains much of that former glory, making it a joy for both train spotters and for travelers alike. Of course, traveling on the Scarborough Flyer doesn't come cheap, but it's worth it for a once-in-a-lifetime vacation. You can get off at York to check out more trains at the National Railway Museum, or you can stay on board until you reach the stunning seaside town of Scarborough. Number 3. Tees Tyne Pullman the Tees Tyne Pullman is another incredible English steam train that was once a vital part of the country's transportation system, connecting the northeast of England to the capital city of London. It was one of the flagship vehicles along the East Coast Main Line and came into service towards the end of the 1940s. This stunning train is also one of the first ever British Pullman trains, which are a type of luxury train that were built by the British Pullman Car Company from 1874 until 1962. It even had an onboard car carriage called the Hadrian Bar, which meant that travelers could hit the road in style. Unfortunately, the Pullman carriages were later replaced, and the Hadrian Bar was taken away. Even then, the first-class carriages were given a stunning new paint job that made the Tees Tide Pullman a joy to behold. And as is common amongst all of the vehicles that we've looked at so far, the decline of the steam train industry and the rise of diesel eventually meant that the train became obsolete. It was withdrawn from service in the 1970s, and today just lives on in photographs and people's memories. Number 2. The Flying Scotsman 
few trains are as famous as the Flying Scotsman, and I'd go so far as to say it's probably the third most well-known train in history after Stevenson's Rocket and the Hogwarts Express, the latter of which is fictional. First running in 1862, the Flying Scotsman traveled all the way along the East Coast Main Line from London's King's Cross to Edinburgh's Waverley. For the first time, passengers could travel from the English capital city to the Scottish capital city in under nine hours. That might sound like a long time now that we can take a flight in a couple of hours, but back then it was revolutionary. The train itself wasn't called the Flying Scotsman until 1924, by which point it had already been in service for over 60 years, but that doesn't make it any less iconic. Unfortunately, the Scotsman was retired in 1963, and so you won't see the original steam train on British railway lines anytime soon. But the good news for us train lovers is that after almost being thrown onto the scrap heap, the Flying Scotsman was rescued and eventually donated to the public in 2004. If you want to go see this stunning train today, you can see it at the National Railway Museum, where it's undergoing restoration and preservation work. Number 1. The Mallard As always, we've saved the best for last, because the Mallard isn't just a stunning steam train, it's also the world's fastest ever steam locomotive. That's all due to its design, which is as streamlined as they come, which was thoroughly tested in wind tunnels to make sure that it had the highest performance possible. The Mallard was built in Doncaster in 1938, and had only been on the tracks for a couple of months before it hit a record speed for a steam train at a whopping 126 miles an hour. Despite being nearly 100 years old, that record still stands. But as much as the speed is worth mentioning, it's not the main reason why I love this thing. It's all about the look of it, most of which is due to the engineering work and the design of Nigel Gressley, the Mallard's creator. They don't make trains like this anymore. Unfortunately, the Mallard was withdrawn from service in the 1960s, but the good news is that it didn't just get tossed on the scrap heap. These days, you can find it in York at the National Railway Museum, and it even underwent some restoration work in the 1980s. That means it still retains much of its former glory. Watch our Vehicles playlist for more top 15 videos about amazing vehicles. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best vehicle videos.